Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In my last video, where we tackled training Laura on human faces, I showed you guys how to use XYZ plot in Automatic 1111 to check out our batch of Laura turnout. It's a great tool, but man, Automatic 1111 takes a sweet time to churn out images, way slower than Comfy UI. Seriously, it could take over half an hour to just run it once with XYZ plot because it needs tons of images. So I thought, why not make a new tutorial on how to use LoRa using XYZ plot, but this time, let's spice things up by using Comfy UI instead. The process is super simple and only involves four nodes. Ready to dive in and set it all up together? Let's get started. All right, let's jump into the Comfy UI interface. Just double click with your left mouse button, then they'll bring up the search node toolbar. Type in efficient and look for the efficient loader. Click on that byte boy to add it to your workspace. If you are scratching your head wondering what an efficient loader does, or if you can't find it, Check out my previous video where I dive into using LoRa in Comfy UI. Got the efficient loader ready? Great. Now, we need a key sampler to generate images. Double click again. Hit up the search bar with efficient once more and hunt down the key sampler labeled with efficient in parentheses. It's crafted to work perfectly with our efficient loader. Connect these two nodes together, and you are all set to generate the plot. Next up, let's choose a checkpoint, and write our prompt. Alright, hit the button to generate an image, and let's see how it turns out. There you go. The image pops right out. Smooth staining, no issues. Now, let's move on to accessing XYZ plot. Let's adjust the space between these two nodes a bit to make some room for others we'll add later. Now, go to the key sampler node and look for the script input port. Click and drag from there, and you'll see XY plot pop up in options. Connect the dependencies input of the XY plot to the dependencies output of the efficiency loader. Next, we are setting up the X and Y axis on the XY plot. When you click and drag the X input, you might see several nodes appear, but they are not what we want. So, Click on search instead and type LoRa into the search box. You should see LoRa plot show up, which is exactly what we are looking for. Go ahead and click on that. For the first parameter on the x-axis, we can stick with the default. It's all set for testing different LoRa's and their weights. Now, let's talk about the number of LoRa's we want to test. We've got 10 versions of my trained LoRa, so I set this parameter to 10. The following parameter is where you set the path for the LoRa files. Make sure to put all the LoRa's you want to test in a separate folder and enter that folder path here. Keep in mind, I'm running Comfy UI on a server, so the folder format might look a bit different from yours. Don't sweat it. For testing different LoRa weights on the y-axis, I go from 0.6 to 1. That's five different weights. 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and 1. So, I'll enter five for the number of tests on the y-axis. The next parameter sets the starting value of the y-axis, which is 0 0.6, and the one at the bottom set the last value, which is 1. 
And don't forget to connect the output of the y-axis too. Once that's done, we are all set to generate the image. Let's go for it. All right, the plot is up on the screen now. Simply right click on the key sampler node and select Open Image to view it. You'll see the 10 LoRa's we tested listed on the Y axis with their names. And on the Y axis, you've got weights ranging from 0 0.6 to 1. Keep in mind, this image is just temporary. If you want to keep it, you can right click on the image and choose Save Image As to save it permanently. Or, there's another way to handle it directly in Convi UI. You can set the key sampler output image parameter in XY plot to plot and then port a save image node from the image output of the key sampler node and fire up another plot. This time, the XY plot will automatically be saved to the output directory of Confi UI, and it will save automatically on all future runs. That wraps up this tutorial. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit like and support the channel. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Take care.